Today let's see how we can implement visual drag and rearrange interface for our ionic list items. Please visit the links present on your computer screen right now because we are using same code to implement visual drag and drop interface. So our previous day project looks, looks like this. I enter a company name and add it and it gets added to our list of companies. I'll add a button here clicking on which a drag and drop rearrange interface appears. So let me first write ion list items. So once that's done, let me remove the lines. So once that done, I'll add reorder directive and assign it a value of true in order to show the drag and drop interface to rearrange items. Uh, as you could see, when I move item items from downwards to upwards, everything works fine. When I drag upward items downwards, our refresh component interferes with our drag and drop interface. I'll be fixing it shortly. Also note that rearrangement isn't working because we haven't coded that part yet. Also note that we could group certain items for reordering. Here, even company name label, that is header gets this uh, drag and drop interface. To remove that, we could add ion list, ion item group to group the reorderable group of items. So I'll add the tag ion item group and group the items which I need to reorder. So I'll remove this reorder directive and place it on ion item group. This way we can only have this drag and drop for the group of items we wish to have that facility. So let me add a button here, a edit button by the way. Let me make it small and clear. Looks like a link and not a button. For click event, I'll invoke a method called action btn, which assigns a value to this label that is button name. So initially, okay, it's coming down. So I'll add end here. Okay, now it's working. The error is because I haven't defined action button yet. So for btn name, I'll give an initial value of edit. Let us call it edit. Okay, it's working. Next, I'll define action btn method. So once the user clicks on this, well, let me show you one more thing. I will activate the drag and drop interface once the user clicks on this edit button. So I'll take a variable called flag and assign it a value of false. Once the user clicks on the button, I'll make that flag as true, which means if it's if flag is true, the interface that is the drag and drop visual interface must appear. When it's false, that interface should disappear. So I'll assign this to the directive reorder. So once I click edit, the drag and drop visual appears. So if the BTN name is equal to edit the initial value, then facilitate the editing that is flag should be set to true and uh, let's even change btn name to done and this dot flag is equal to true that is our visual drag and drop interface must appear now the opposite of this if the button is not added then make the button label to edit and then flag to false. So that's it. Let's check that out.
remember we haven't yet coded the actual rearrangement of these list items just look at its visual so we could drag and drop once we hit done drag and drop interface disappears yeah that's working that's fine so next thing is let's code the actual rearrangement wherever this reorder directive is present either be it on ion list or ion item group we need to write our ion item reorder event that is so when the user when the item is dragged and dropped into the new position the ion item reorder is emitted and this event also provides the initial position and the new position index of the reordered item so let me define reorder items so it gives us the from and to indexes i'll get the item which has been moved and store it inside a variable called element and i'll remove it from its position and then place it into its new position now the drag and drop must work but then it doesn't persist because we are not saving it back to our temporary sorry to our local database so drag and drop works now rearrangement works now but once we refresh it the ordering gets reshuffled again to its original place so let's fix that you could write that is you could set the my store one storage variable that is key inside reorder items or else once the user hits the done button i'll set its value that is i'll set the rearranged value which is present inside this dot items so let's check that out so i'll drag apple to top and hit done let me refresh and apple should be at the top and it's working let me do the same once again to intel hit done and drag and refresh and it's working without hitting done if i refresh the oracle will be placed in its original place once again also remember this refresh component was is interfering so i'll go there and let me do this if star ng if flag is equal to false this should work that is this component ion refresher should work only when flag is equal to false that is when we are not drag when we are not rearranging the list items so now it's not working once you hit done only then the refresher works hope that helps please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video and share this video with your friends on your social profiles like facebook reddit stack overflow etc and do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.